हाई फ्रेंड्स आई एम हर पाल कौर एंड वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल स्टेप टू डिजिटल मार्केटिंग डू यू वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई फॉर अ गूगल एडसेंस वट आर नॉट श्योर वट आर द रिक्वायरमेंट्स और हैर अप्लाइड बट नॉट अप्रूव एंड यू आर वरीड फॉर दैट सो टूडे आई एम हेयर टू हेल्प यू टू गेट अप्रूव फॉर गूगल एडसेंस आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल दी पॉइंट्स डेट आई फॉलो वाई अप्लाइंग फॉर दी एडसेंस एंड माई गूगल एडसेंस वॉज अप्रूवड इन लेस दैन ट्वेंटी आवर्स This is my website appliancesinfo.com. You can see it is showing ads. So let's start this video with the first requirement. Google's priority is to keep the website easy to navigate to the user. It means Google love user experience. So I kept my website interface very simple. You can apply this method to your website also. The next thing is you must have an about us page that explain who you are and about your content or a type of a website. The next page is contact us. Google want from you that user can contact you if needed. So it is good to have a contact page. You can give your email ID or a contact form. Let's move to the next requirement. You have to show the categories of your blog on the home pages for easy navigation so that user can search content according to the category. This is good if sorted as per the categories. The next thing is to have a some quick links. The first one is a disclaimer. provide a disclaimer for external links and any kind of a error and a fair use the next one is to have a privacy policy page you must comply with the gdpr cookies browsing or a children information etc The next one is for term and condition page. You can use an online generator to generate these all pages. It is good to have a site map for a users for a website navigation. You can generate it using your SEO plugin whichever you are using whether it is Rank Math, Yoast or any other plugins. it includes a list of a posters user can easily find out any blog and read that from this list it also has a list of a pages and a categories it will automatically add new posters pages and a category whatever you will add in the future if you are using affiliation of any kind then It is important to show the disclosure for affiliation so that users can understand this thing also. It will show you the list of affiliation you have. Make sure to have these all pages in your website. Your social media accounts on the website show your followers that trust you and your authenticity. Google take it as a positive way and a trustable if you have a social account listed on your website make sure to add these all social media account whatever you have the next thing is to add a social share icons if your content is good and it will be shared by the readers it is a good find for your content in the eyes of a google if your content is not a duplicated so keep it in mind to check for a plagiarism there are many website to check the plagiarism i used dupli checker when i applied for adsense the very important point here is 
your website must not include any copyright image make sure to remove all the images that have a copyright before applying for adsense it is not by a google but it, it is my personal observation to remove the links from the amazon if you are not affiliated with amazon it is good if your website speed is good your website must be mobile and a tablet friendly that means it must be responsive if you open your website on a mobile it must adjust its content according to the phone it is a content response as per the device these all are the points that i follow while applying for the google adsense and my account was approved within 20 hours so i recommend you to at least follow these points and i am sure your website will also approved for google adsense i hope this video will help you to apply for google adsense and it to understand its requirements thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe to my channel if you like my video and you can share with your family and friends thank you